peace, my peoples. What's up? How y'all vibing? Today I had to make a video about divine masculine energy and divine feminine energy. So a lot of people be asking me or a lot of people be confused on what these energies are and the essence of them and how important it is for you to balance within. So for people that's not aware, each male and female do have masculine and feminine energy, okay? So a man is not meant to be too masculine and must balance the feminine. A female is not meant to be too feminine. She must balance the masculine. You must converse with your awareness when you need to use those energies. So people think when it's a male getting in tune with his feminine energy, that it could be a weird thing to do or make them soft or might make them gay or whatever, you know, but that's not the case. That is the true essence of energy, feminine and masculine energy, you know, so those energies is not able to define you as a gender far as a male or a female. Your private parts is defining you as a male or a female. So the male or masculine energy will be aggressive. The female will be the polarity to it. It will be amiable, you know? So Masculine energy will be action. Feminine energy will be receptivity, you know? So when you're doing so and balancing both, you are getting in tune to your masculine and feminine energy, which is your God or goddess energy. It's deep, it's where creation is from. You can't have one without the other. You must converse with each other, you know? how the sun and the moon converses with each other, you know? You might have uh, a spice, that's a plant, you know, cloves or cinnamon and stuff like that. That's masculine energy. It's, it's aggressive, you know? So water, money, those soft things, enjoyable things, peaceful things are feminine energy. But once you get in tune with it, it don't necessarily mean Oh, I'm getting in tune with my feminine energy, so I'm a female now. Or I'm getting in tune with my masculine energy, I'm a male now. You know, that's not the case. The case is energy. Energy is not physical. We tend to put genders on energy, and that's where everything becomes complex, you know? So it's just the polarity to things, which we all are. We are one with that energy. That energy is us. You know, and everyone is capable of becoming a god or a goddess because we all are that. If you tap into that energy, if you put the work in, if you heal from your childhood traumas, your adulthood traumas, being accountable and doing your shadow work, you know, reprogramming your thought process, your subconscious, you know, rising your vibration, you know, I say, and putting the work in, really doing this. It's a lifestyle that you do every day, being in tune with these energies. It's keeping yourself grounded in Mother Nature, Gaia, Ashe, you know, especially on a beautiful day like this. You see, can't go wrong. You definitely need to ground yourself. So Mother Nature, we got all negative, negative. is gonna act like as a magnetic force and pull those things out of us, the toxic metals or anything that's toxic in our body. This is scientifically proven and objective. So all these things that we detach ourselves from is the true essence of energy. And we ignore it. And it's not so much as being ignored. We don't know no better of it because we don't have no knowledge of it. So when we don't get it, we quick to call it crazy. You quick to laugh at something instead of trying to find the true inner standard and overstanding of it. So be one with your energy, tap into your energy, you know? Tap into that Kundalini, you know? It's not what you think it is. It's not nothing bad or how people try to portray it to be, you know? Kundalini energy. Kundalini 
actually means coiled up energy. You know, the serpent, the snake is knowledge. It represents knowledge. It represents different things. It doesn't represent what they made us believe that it represents, you know? So when you do so, that energy is coiled up at the base of your spine, your root chakra, you know? So when you do that, you rise it all the way up to your crown chakra. Then you become your God or goddess self, your higher self, and be in tune and connected to the awe and to the unknown, the divine universe. That's as above, so below, as within, so without, as the universe, so the soul, law of correspondence. So just wanted to throw that out there so people can hear about it and know about it and don't be so confused about it. You can't have one without the other. It's the yin and the yang, you know? And it's actually beautiful once you start to tap in and feel those feelings. These energies is us. And by being us, we tapped into it. We converse with it. It speaks to us. Just like when you would be on a rooftop or something, on a roller coaster, on a swing, you will catch those butterflies, you feel the butterflies. That's an energy. Us humans, we just want to name everything. We don't even know, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you your name a squirrel, we call them squirrel, squirrel. But you ever thought about a squirrel really actually hearing you like, what y'all talking about? And then, oh, that's what you call us? Man, where I'm from, we don't call us squirrels, bro. We call us, <laughs> you know? So we just naming stuff and picking to our understanding. We adapt into these uh, states of mind. We adapt into stuff that we have no knowledge about that we just call them. We, you know what I'm saying? We dictating. We on some Christopher Columbus stuff like, no, we gonna call it this. Oh, no, that's not what that mean. Uh, you know, it's always funny. Check him out. Nah, you know? So go within to go without, you know? You can't have no beautiful, happy, peaceful life if it's not beautiful, peaceful, and happy within, you know? So however you feel about your outer world is gonna be your true essence of how you feel about yourself, you know? So in order to do that, you must follow the laws of the universe, put the work in, and be one with the all. The humans is the only species that do not follow the laws of the universe at all. A tree will really grow as tall as it can grow, it will reach its full potential. Humans act like we don't have no evolution. So what are we doing, you know? But the only thing that can help us is that divine masculine and feminine and it's beautiful you know so that's what it is the stuff we was led to believe is what it's not you know so think about that get tapped in you know and just do research unlearn and relearn and begin to really try to understand the full essence of these things esoteric and indigenous ancient history, the laws of the universe, quantum physics, all that is what's gonna help you see through the illusion. And it's a beautiful feeling. You are a god, you are a goddess. You need to know that. You need to put the work in because if you don't, you are not a god and a goddess. You just got potential god and goddess energy. But when you put the work in, you become who you are. If you don't, you'll never become who you're supposed to be. That's Shay. Peace, my peoples.